Hi, welcome to West Coast Witches. Today we're gonna to be doing a garden tour. So here we are in my garden. We're gonna start with this gigantic fern. Um, he was here when we moved in and we love him. So we give him lots of water and love and he's growing quite big. Over here we have some mint, which kind of just does its own thing. It grows pretty wild. There's an abundance of it. Um, we use it in drinks. We made some Moscow mules with it, or like I put it in the juicer sometimes with some watermelon. That's really good. Um, over here we have a rhododendron, and it's new this year, so it should flower next year. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, here we have chives, a sage plant, which needs to be trimmed, so I'm going to be making some smudging bundles soon. Uh, thyme right here. And then I'm not sure what this thing is. We tend to just let our garden do its own thing. And so sometimes weeds pop up, but sometimes really cool stuff pops up. So hoping this has maybe some nice flowers or something, or maybe some fruit, who knows? Um, and then this is garlic. Over in that pot, we have a dill plant. And then right here is our Christmas tree, actually. And I thought he was dead, but he's growing so or he has some more green sprouting so he seems to be reviving himself and I'm just giving him you know extra love and hopefully he just continues on that growth path and gets rid of some of the brown wheels but he's he's doing a lot better than he was a few months ago and then over here we have a succulent which wasn't doing so well over the winter we had to move him inside and he wasn't getting very much light so I'm hoping now that it's summertime he'll revive and come back but who knows Anyways, we have some more plants upstairs, so we'll continue the tour on the balcony. Uh, this is my maidenhair fern. He's the only plant that's inside right now because he likes the shade, so he lives in this window right here. Here's another succulent hanging arrangement. It's an assortment of three or four different things. I'm not sure the names of all of them, but I know this one with the flowers is a hardy ice plant. They're from South Africa, I believe. I had a different uh, variety of one last year and I really liked it. I love the little flowers, so yeah. And then over here we have a donkey tail that I'm propagating and he's doing really good. He's got four little new leaves growing, so that's exciting. Uh, aloe vera, zebra cactus, and this actually broke off of the big succulent downstairs, so I just stuck him in some soil and he's doing pretty good. Uh, here's a basil, a spider plant, and a catnip. Hey, it's Caitlin. I'm going to show you my garden. So this is near my front door. I have some pots, there's some herbs, and some flowers. And this is my backyard. In the center rectangle, there are vegetables and herbs. I have kale in the front, sage, rosemary, three different types of peppers. I feed my kale to my rabbits and my tortoise. And that's with a lot of these plants. I give most of them to my animals. I have strawberries there in the pots and some basil, cilantro. They're all pretty freshly planted, so they're still tiny. There's Millie. And this is just in the corner of my backyard. It's just a mix of different plants, different flowers, shrubs, bushes. The animals really like to walk through and explore there. The cats and the dogs, they spend a lot of time in this corner. There's little pathways all through it that they can walk in. There's a lot of buttercups, and these are my rabbits. They're out enjoying some time on the grass right now, which they do most sunny days. And these are some more plants that I have in pots, more herbs.
And in summer, I do take my cactuses and my succulents outside. This, these are them inside during winter. And I'll take them out and put them right out this window in summertime. So this is them now. I've taken them out and they like to spend time out here in the summer and get some sunshine. Every year around May or June, I go to the garden shop and the plant store in my city and get some new plants and we'll end this video with some clips from that trip to the store. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!